Over the past three years, I've pretty consistently made about $1,800 every single month from YouTube AdSense. And so in this video, I really wanted to talk about what it looks like to get started with YouTube AdSense, how it works, basically explaining everything when it comes to that side of my business. And if you're curious about the three primary ways I'm making money from YouTube, and that is through my own digital products, through YouTube AdSense, and through affiliate income, and get my exact formula to generating money with YouTube, the freebie for that will be in the description the link will be right below this video if you want to go ahead and snag that too. Also, I've got a lot of notes for this video. So, and it's very technical, lots of um, numbers that I want to share with you guys. So if I'm looking off to the side at all, that is why. Essentially, let's talk about what is YouTube AdSense first. YouTube AdSense is basically where you make ads from, or you make money from the ads that advertisers are placing on your videos. And YouTube takes a cut of that. So there's a cut that goes to you, a cut that goes to YouTube. You're able to start with YouTube AdSense once you hit 1,000 YouTube subscribers and 4,000 public watch hours on your videos. I found that on, on one of our other YouTube channels that watch hours from YouTube shorts did not count toward the watch hours. It had to be from like long form YouTube videos. Once you hit those two requirements, it's pretty simple from there to sign up for YouTube AdSense. You simply input like your information, your payment information, you turn on your two-step verification, and then you are good to go to start with YouTube AdSense on your videos and start monetizing your channel. Two really important terms here to know is CPM, and that is essentially how much the advertisers are paying you YouTube to show ads on your videos. RPM is another really important term here. RPM is essentially the cut that you are getting from YouTube for those ads. So the how much money you're making for the ads on your videos that YouTube is not keeping for themselves. So in more technical terms, RPM is how much you earn per 1,000 views on your videos. CPM is how much advertisers pay per 1,000 views on your videos. A pretty typical RPM, so how much you're making per 1,000 views, is around $4 per that 1,000 views. Mine on this channel currently sits at about $8.61. A typical CPM, so how much advertisers are paying to put ads on your videos, is around $7 per 1,000 views. Mine is currently at $16.41. So a little background to my own YouTube journey and like when I actually got monetized on this YouTube channel. So I started my YouTube channel in July of 2019. So that is almost four years ago now, which is insane. I was monetized on October 13th, 2019. So it took about three months of consistently posting YouTube videos every single week in order to get monetized, like to hit that 4,000 public watch hours and to hit that 1,000 subscribers. I didn't really start seeing traction on my channel though, like really start growing my subscribers or views views until around August of 2020. So it took over a year for me to really start seeing good results from YouTube. And I will say that also came with like a four month break and trying to figure out what exactly my niche is and where exactly I'm going with all of that. 2021, like the beginning of 2021 is when I started making a substantial amount from YouTube AdSense more than just like $50 here, $30 there. Okay, let's talk about the money on AdSense. So these numbers are from AdSense alone. This doesn't include anything from like my digital products or my courses or affiliate income that I'm also making directly from YouTube. YouTube has literally given us hundreds of new students and brought so many of you guys into our brand, which we are so thankful for. So this is only from YouTube AdSense and not including the 400 plus leads we get every month from YouTube organically, not including the thousands of dollars we made on the back end. Um, let me know if you want a video more on that too. I think we're gonna plan one and do one for you guys. So let me know if you have any questions about doing like making money any other way. Um, and also download that freebie because that will give you a head start on like exactly things to do to make money besides AdSense. But here's what it looks like. So my first month on YouTube AdSense, I made a whopping $28.76 in October. So that's for like the second half of October, those last two weeks after October 13th. And then in November of 2019, I made $48.44 total. So essentially the first two months I made like, let's see, $70 and you don't get your first payout even until you hit a hundred dollars which I don't think happened until December and then I got that payout in January because it comes a couple weeks after the month ends so yeah so you so I basically wasn't making very much on YouTube AdSense to begin with and that was pretty typical through my first year in 2021 is when I really started to see a lot of growth like the beginning of 2021 end of 2020 is when my channel started to grow and I know that those these numbers started happening like around that $1,800 mark when 
I hit around 10,000 subscribers in early 2021. So in all of 2021, I ended up making $20,263.61 generated in YouTube AdSense that I got to keep from 2.6 million views. So again, I hit 10,000 subscribers in March of 2021. So these numbers are totally possible even without like a big following on YouTube. In 2022, so last year, I ended up making $22,956.60 from 2.2 million views. So even though my views technically went down a little bit, I ended up making more. And I think just cause like the value of the ads on my videos were more in my videos, like people potentially watching my videos longer. Also from that revenue, 82.2% .2 of that revenue came from skippable ads. Um, the rest are like a mixture of bumper ads, not non-skippable and display ad. And you can actually set the settings for yourself on the back end of your YouTube channel and YouTube studio. You're able to set like what kinds of ads you want on your videos. So I also wanted to talk about like what videos I have posted have earned me the most money because just because videos get a lot of views doesn't necessarily it's gonna make you the most money on the back end of YouTube AdSense. So for example, my 2022 Reels tutorial has made me $4,988.51. My 2021 Reels tutorial has made me $4,500 $95.77. My Instagram Reels transition tutorial has made me $3,478.85. And when you go to look at my channel, those aren't necessarily even the top viewed videos on my channel. They're definitely up there, but there are some videos that have gotten more views, but I have definitely not made me as much money because they're shorter videos or people just don't watch them as long, right? And I also wanted to mention in 2023, currently, um, after the first three months with quarter one just finished in 2023, I'm filming this a little bit ahead of time. So January through March of 2023, um, the top performing video so far is our 2023 reels tutorial does that surprise you <laughs> and that video has made us $680.13 so far in the first three months of 2023 I also wanted to let you guys know one more number here lifetime revenue that I have made on YouTube like total over the past few years how much money has YouTube paid me in YouTube AdSense that total number is $49,949.37 and it's important to look at things like this other than views so and when you're talking about bringing revenue in from YouTube as well because like just because videos have gotten me the most views like doesn't mean that's gonna make me the most money right and also why like relying just on YouTube AdSense also is important like don't it's like I basically look at this like number as like a boost in my business revenue not something that I rely on for business revenue because we have so many things on the back end so many things we are doing that we are generating revenue with when it comes to our passive income and so I want to talk about next how did I start generating this money like how did I get started what did that look like what are the things that I think actually made a difference and starting to make this money consistently because I've been generating that like eighteen hundred to nineteen hundred dollars sometimes it dips down to like fifteen hundred to sixteen hundred sometimes it went up to like two thousand it, it ebbs and flows but I've very consistently been hitting that like revenue mark every month for about two years now so what are the things I think made, made a difference number one was choosing a niche and being consistent I was all over the place at first my niche wasn't very specific I then took four months off um, from YouTube when I came back it was all over the place and so as 2020 went on and I continued on YouTube once I got really clear on my niche later in 2020 that's when I really started to grow and I was also being consistent so that also helped me to grow and I really do believe that that led to a lot of the uh, channel growth that I have and also dollar growth as far as YouTube AdSense because I was really narrowing in on who my people are and then how can I best help them and create videos that they're going to want to see and so whenever I'm thinking about someone who's starting from the beginning and wondering how long it might take me to see this if you do a really good job of choosing a niche and being consistent like once I started doing that it really only took me like six months to start seeing these kinds of numbers come in from YouTube AdSense I also think that my content just got better over over time like I do think that um, those couple of years where I was all over the place and not as consistent that it really did help me become more comfortable on camera like the more I did it the more I practiced the better I got at it I was better at filming videos I was better at editing my videos I was better at knowing what topics to cover I was better at my camera quality and lighting quality and knowing how to do all those things there's so many things that go into videos I had better thumbnails I had a stronger filming strategy so I could actually keep up easier and so I 
think all of those things really did contribute to my success when it came to seeing those higher numbers. I also think checking in consistently on my YouTube analytics and creating videos based on that really, really helped me here. And we actually have a full YouTube video on me like looking at my analytics and then like showing you guys exactly how I'm doing that. So I'll be sure to put a link right up here and down below. But essentially you're looking at like what videos are being picked up, what search terms are being searched and what keywords you're being found for, making sure you're creating videos that are bingeable. All those different things really do help. Another thing that I think helped too in seeing these numbers is knowing from the get go, it will take time. When you're creating long form content or showing up on a platform that has long form content like YouTube, it's going to take a lot more time to see the numbers that you're wanting to see. It's not gonna be overnight. Like with Instagram Reels, you could post a reel and go viral and the next week have a thousand followers. That's not really how it works on YouTube. It can happen that way, but very often it takes months, if not years of showing up consistently to start seeing results. But the cool thing is if you are doing that and being consistent, that means it's also gonna take longer to crumble. Like if you take a break from YouTube, your channel's just not gonna go away. Your income's not just gonna go away. We actually took six weeks off from YouTube last year and still saw great revenue during that time frame because long form videos ever are essentially evergreen, which means people can find them months, if not years later and still learn from them. And you're still getting YouTube AdSense revenue from those videos, which is awesome and very different from something like the uh, um, Instagram Reels Play bonus program that was like awful. <laughs> and so I do think something like YouTube is a great long-term strategy. It's not gonna necessarily get you amazing revenue like right away, but if you're consistent and you're committed to it, it is a great long-term strategy for building a strong foundation in your business. Something that can consistently bring you not only YouTube AdSense revenue, but consistent leads in your business and sales in your business. So if you're interested in learning a little more about that strategy and how to consistently make income from YouTube, whether it's AdSense or clients or paid products, be sure to download that freebie, my exact formula to making money on YouTube. That link will be right below this video where you can download it. And remember, don't build your whole business on YouTube AdSense. If you are wanting to become a YouTuber, be sure to diversify your income streams and where your income's coming from, whether it's YouTube AdSense, brand collaborations, affiliate income, your own products, maybe offering services. Like there's so much you can do and incorporate. I think having multiple streams of income, I don't just think, like I know, like from my business, like that has made my business so much more sustainable and has been able to withstand even those lower months where maybe I don't have that extra $500. Like it literally doesn't matter because we have so many income streams coming in. If you haven't already, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe. We upload new videos every Tuesday at noon Eastern. We would love to have you stick around and I will see you guys in the next week's video on Tuesday. Oh, and if you have any questions, by the way, please feel free to drop them. We'll be responding to you guys and answering all of your questions about YouTube AdSense or if there's anything else on YouTube. I hope you guys have been really enjoying these YouTube videos so far. For the month of May, we've been focusing all on how to grow and start a YouTube channel. So if you've missed the ones so far, like be sure to go back and watch our past videos all about like just growing on YouTube, creating YouTube videos. If there's anything you wanna see coming up on the channel, drop a comment. Let us know if there's anything you're wondering about growing on YouTube right now and what's working right now. And I will see you guys next week's video. Bye guys.